Okay, our very last problem is if I shine a laser from the Earth to the moon and it returns in 2.56 seconds, then how far is the moon? So this is roughly the Earth-Moon system, sort of to scale. And the question is that if I shine my laser beam at the moon and maybe there's a mirror on the moon, there actually is a mirror on the moon, guys, and it reflects back, and that whole round trip takes 2.56 seconds, then what I want to know is, what does that mean the distance to the moon is? So the important thing that you need to notice here is that the one-way trip takes the light half of this time. So half of 2.56 is 1 point... Uh, I'm bad at math. 32, 23. Seriously, I have to do this. 28. All right, so one-way trip takes 1.28 seconds. All right, so knowing that, now we can apply our distance equals speed times time equation. And we can just do this directly because we're trying to solve for the distance. And so we know that the speed is the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And the time is 1.28 seconds to get from the Earth to the moon for our laser beam. And so 3 times 1.28 is going to be, again, something that I can't calculate. So my calculator says 3.84 times 10 to the 8th meters. So, okay, that's fine. Um, this is a large number, so it's a little bit hard for me to picture, right? So I'm curious what that distance is compared to the AU. I mean, our problem is already finished here. We've got 3.84 times 10 to the 8 meter, meters, but I want to know how many AU is that? And so if I want to answer that question, I have to have, what is my AU in meters? And I do know that. And so now I need to figure out how do I work with these two numbers to end up with AU? And I'll show you, this is another unit analysis example. I can rewrite this by dividing both sides by um, the other. So I know I want to end up with AU, so I want that in my numerator. So I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by the 1.5 times 10 to the, oop, that should be a positive 11 meters. All right, and notice that that makes this side cancel out and equal 1. So that means that everything that you see here, that is equal to 1, and I can multiply any number by that. And so if I'm starting with 3.84 times 10 to the 8th meters, I can multiply that by my 1 AU divided by 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters, because this number is equal to 1. This whole fraction is equivalent to 1, and I can multiply anything by 1 and get the same thing out. So that's what I'm doing, and the reason that this is handy is because my units of meters cancel, and I'm left only with the unit of AU, which is what I want. So now I have 3.84 divided by 1.5, and my exponents add, so I have an 8 in the numerator minus the 11 that's in my denominator. Uh, oops, I ended up with AU. So now I need 3.84 divided by 1.5. and I get back my 2.56, how about that? And now I have eight minus 11 is minus three, AU. So this is kind of fun because, um, let's see, one millimeter, which is about the size of the nib in a ballpoint uh, pen, one millimeter is 1 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. So that means this, you know, if 10 to the minus 3 is milli, this is 2.56 milli AU, is the distance from the Earth to the moon. 
which is kind of cool because then it's saying, you know, if one AU is one meter, um, then the moon is 2.56 millimeters away. So pretty sweet. Okay, that's uh, how we find the distance to the moon using our unit analysis tricks.